Okay, it's on. This is your people. This day will be the most unique day anywhere on the planet. You don't see a car, you don't see anything. You don't see all these young kids, bicycles. There's no shops open, there's no businesses open. And nowhere else on this planet is this day of freedom. Anywhere in the world. You know, you get some slow days somewhere in some cities. So Dwight, what do you think of Yom Kippur? Oh, this is an awesome day here. This is my second one in Israel, and uh, it's incredible to see the whole world, as I can touch it right now, shut down, no radio, no TV. Um, one thing I am surprised that when the people come out in the streets at night, everybody's uh, having a good time, a lot of freedom, a lot of happiness, a lot of seriousness. Uh, and the people fasting and recognizing uh, their personal needs for reconciliation with their creator. I think it's an awesome thing. I wish we had it in America. Shalom. Ramadan, Israel. Are you looking forward to building your sukkah? Yes, I um, This will be my second time staying in the sukkah. Observing Sukkot when the when Israel the Hebrews came out of um, Egypt to me is symbolic of freedom, freedom from oppression, spiritual, emotional, social, all these different aspects, and uh, also uh, provision of the of my Creator in this protection and keeping me from the heat and the storms of life in a protected area, which my life has been a witness of. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Have a nice Nehalim uh, sukkah, ready to go. Pack it up and going up to the north, to the Galil. Deployment of the nations, uh, having a good time with your friends. Yes, sir. Are a lot of people coming? I have no idea. What a concept. 